Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day four of our Melissa Challenge, um, Remembrance Day. I managed to find a few seconds this morning to find a little red poppy in my garden in remembrance of all those who died in the war, but also a reminder of um, peace. I decided to um, intuitively go for my peace roller and put that on my pulse points before I started my Melissa today. Um, so just a reminder of what our challenge has been about. Um, Melissa reminds us of who we truly are and in it, it invites us to release everything that holds us back from reaching our fullest, truest potential. It's the oil of light and it helps us create space and openness to be the light and let go of feelings of darkness and despair and anything that holds us down or holds us back. So stand in your light unapologetically and be open to receive. So take a moment to perhaps take a conscious breath, it might be for the first time today, just noticing your in-breath, noticing the out-breath, noticing the little pause between the in-breath and the out-breath. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to our inhalations and exhalations. When we only inhale or receive, take in, or we only exhale, give out, give, we become out of rhythm with the universe. So for optimal health, energy and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. So take time to just consciously breathe in, noticing that inhale and noticing the exhale, perhaps the same length or slightly longer. Just pausing, taking note, stopping. In the past three days, we've taken a little pause, a little stop each hour. And this little word stop is a useful tool to access our breath, to help us pause. S-T-O-P. And join me now to stop. So the S for stopping. Perhaps looking at your oil, noticing what you see, holding the bottle in your hand. The T, take a breath. Breathe in your Melissa, breathe in your black pepper, your wild orange, or whatever oil you've been intu chosen intuitively. Perhaps roll it on your finger, smell it, taste it. Then the O for observe. What do you notice? What do you see around you? What do you smell, taste? How are you feeling in this moment now? The P, proceed. What is my next step? Can I be more expansive? Can I step into the light? Can I be open to what might be? Can I receive what is on offer? Today, the focus words are receive and openness. Women often find themselves in positions of giving out a lot, giving to family, to partners, to work, to friends. Um, and today I challenge you to focus on the re reciprocal nature of giving and receiving. When you give a hug, perhaps feel into the person um, giving you something back, receiving that hug back. When you give a cup of tea, a, a meal, Perhaps feel into the pause as you focus on the gratitude, the joy, the happiness coming back from the person. Yesterday, as Didi started her mindful moment, her little Melissa moment, as I did my check-in, I suddenly started to feel guilty that I hadn't completed the day before correctly, that I hadn't done my hours. I'd got caught up and distracted and disconnected. And I felt like I'd failed and I hadn't done it correctly and I wasn't good, good enough. And then in that moment of Didi starting the morning, I paused 
And I focused on what I would maybe say to one of you if you said, Mickey, I haven't done this properly. I would say, don't worry, start again tomorrow. Um, let it go. Forgive yourself, move on, be kind. And in that moment, I decided to offer myself the same care, the same kindness, and received that love and care for myself. So today, I challenge you to be open, to receive. Sometimes in life, our receiving does not come in the form that we want it to. The wonderful Brianna Weiss says, sometimes you get exactly what you want. Other times, you get a lesson in patience, in timing, in alignment, empathy, trust, awareness, perseverance, purpose, grief, beauty, and life. But either way, you win. So lean into receiving today. Hold out your hand. And as I end, you're welcome to close your eyes and just listen to the words of Julia Fehrenbacher's her, um, beautiful poem, Hold Out Your Hand. Let's forget the world for a while. Pull back and back into the hush and holy of now. Are you listening? This breath invites you to write the first word of your new story. Your new story begins with this. You matter. You are needed, empty and naked, willing to say yes and yes and yes. Do you see the sun shines day after day, whether you have faith or not? The sparrows continue to sing their song even when you forget to sing yours. Stop asking, am I good enough? Ask only, am I showing up with love? Life is not a straight line. It's a downpour of gifts. So please, hold out your hand. Life is not a straight line. It's a downpour of gifts. So please, hold out your hand. Namaste, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Thank you, Nikki. Thanks, Didi. Well, thanks, Nick. Such a lovely reminder to, to receive. Mm. Exactly. That was lovely, Nikki. Thank you so much. Thanks, Pam. Have a beautiful day. You too. Thanks, Karma. Thank you very much. Have a happy day, everybody, and a wonderful weekend. But we will be here tomorrow at 7 for all those awake at 7 in the morning. Our last one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everybody. Enjoy Thanks, your Dad. day. Mon, I believe I see you on here. I believe I gave you one DDR Prime and Clary Calm, and I owed you two. There are there is another set in Durban. I'm just trying to see. Otherwise, I'm going to send it to you, or I can bring it to Wickham and sort of when I'm down there end of the month. So I'll be in touch with you. But we we have it in hand. Right. Thanks, everyone. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much, Nikki. Um, it was Astrid's um, uh, yeah, DDR Prime or something. So thank you very much. That's no problem. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll, we'll make a plan. Get it to you guys. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Thanks so much. Eh? Thanks for a lovely morning. Thanks for the session. Bye-bye.